people! What's up, Fugue Crew? Welcome back to Damn It Open. Party time! Excellent! So yeah, it's gonna try a little uh, dual camera action today. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Because, like, who wants to just look at my face the whole episode? Never not innovating. So yeah, it's got a couple of things in the old oven at the moment. Got a couple of little ones, couple of mega ones. And indeed, a big old backlog on the old P.O. box. Box 55, one hand, Lee Street, Nottingham, NG15BL. So bear with me, I know we do this a lot, but I've got to relieve the pressure before it fills my house up, yeah? So let's bang right on with it, with this uh, rather normal looking package from the Canadas. God, I'll try and censor the addresses on two cameras now. What am I doing? But yeah, I thought it'd be important to um, mix up the visuals a bit, because on the last demo open, I got a comment that really stuck with me. Because the comments on my stuff's generally pretty positive. It's always just like, oh, I've got that toy. Love the vids, Theo. When's the next beat down? But there was one that was like, oh, dude, cut away from yourself. And I thought, oh yeah, I am literally in every shot of these videos. I should probably like have some other stuff. Because it's like, look, it's me. Cut to me. Cut to me. Out of focus, still me. Although thinking about it, you might have just been talking about the way I use the knife. Oh, dude, cut away from yourself. Any whomst, let's see what's in here. Oh boy. What the heck is this? Kind of looks like one of those um, Cyberverse ships that they did in the movies. Like a Centurion Power Extreme armor. I don't know what this is. <laughs> sort of Ed 209. I have no idea. Hello, we've got electronics. Uh, hmm. Unresponsive ass buttons. Nothing going on. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, mixer. This has got to be a GoBot. Or has it? I feel like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Little Gobot lad, who is a mixer. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Looking a little worse for wear, but generally not terrible. All right, it's pretty terrible, but not terrible. Ooh, and this, I think, is Energon Bulkhead. Oh, mate. Gosh, he's chunky. So this was a bit of a weird guy, wasn't he? He like, had nothing to do with like animated Bulkhead or the guy we know as Bulkhead now. And he kind of has a bit of a Springery vibe. But is this related? To him, I don't know. God, very dense, heavy Energon plastic. Say what you want about Energon, the plastic was dynamite. You just go there for now, please, mate. Oh, no way! <laughs> we have G1. Is this pants or wingspan? It's wingspan. Sans wings. All right, he'll never be a full bird. He can be a bird bloke. <laughs> Is that good? Do you know what I mean though? This is like the perfect, nondescript, quintessential, standard robot man who just is a robot and that is it. Yeah, who sent this then? Charles. Charles from Canada. Canadian Charles. Uh, we have a Zaku looking Gundam fellow, sort of Cherno Alpha slash tall geese looking regular bloke, giant military. Is that a backpack? Doesn't seem to be having it. No, nah, just about jammed it in, okay. Cool. <laughs> That's dumb as hell. This would be the remainder of Bulkhead, I imagine. There he goes. Spinny, spinny time. Uh, missiles for Bulkhead. Gonna make you bulk dead. Some kind of tiny turbo changer. It's, it's Soundwave again. <laughs> So, do you ever have that thing where you catch one episode of a show and then you notice that it's on again? You're like, oh, I'll have a look at that. That was all right. And it's the same episode every time. Tiny Turbo Changes Soundwave is my NYPD Blue. Any whomst, we have a couple of Micro Master Combiner fellas. Not sure which ones these are. Looks like he's got a thing off there. Maybe he's a crane or something. I've got one who's really similar to this, but he's red and uh, he's got like a missile launcher on his back, but the missile launcher's just vanished into the ether. I think they do. I think generally if a bit can come off, then it will come off and it will disappear. Hence zero wingspan. I'm sensing a theme. Oh, but these guys are all right, aren't they? Like no one would say that that is the best transformer that ever happened, nor would they say that it was rubbish. God, this is really similar. It's uh, Moon Rock and Missile Master, the ones I've got. I don't know who these are. I'm gonna call them Wrench and the Ghost of Wrench. Ha ha! Instructions for Bulkhead. So it would appear that that big old blue thing is in fact a bit of Bulkhead. So if we fold these up and then, uh, excuse me? Okay, <laughs> whoa. This is enormous, this, it's like its own figure. And then this guy, we do what now? We fold these out. So this comes out and he holds it? This is the clumsiest thing I've ever seen. Jeepers creepers, this, is this real? This is how this actually works. I'm into it, but I gotta say this is kind of unacceptable. <laughs> and I think this just goes, Christ alive, that is, I, 
I love that. <laughs> That is amazing! What a big silly disaster. Man, oh man. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? And how did they nail it so bad? What a freak show! Oh god, <laughs> he's so top heavy. So top and back heavy. Oh heck, my back. And we also have a little um, similarly Gundam-y guy. Oh mate, I love these. This is a gun cannon, isn't it? Yeah, I've got a kit of one of these. It's really good actually, like a little gray one. I've seen this kind of design floating around in all kinds of colors and I low key prefer this to actual Gundams. He got that chunk. Like, cause Gundams have such a weird, diverse range of designs. Whereas the gun cannons are just this guy in a bunch of different colors. And I think that's beautiful. They're the seekers of the Gundam world. Oh great, this was really good. So we got two Gundam figures, tiny bit of slightly neglected G1, friggin' Energon bulkhead, best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and a Gobot, why not? Nicely done, Charlie, hitting all the bases. Got the G1, Gundams, Gobots, Energon. Massively appreciated, mate. Thank you so much. Bulkhead. That's a lot of toy. Okay, cruising onward then, we have what appears to be a uh, fairly bashed up package, damaged before arrival in UK. This looks like a Wes Leslie jobber with the old kratos -y boxes. Sorry, Wes, I don't know what's happened here. Despite your best efforts, it has indeed been biffed. There's been a few incidents of like stuff getting smashed up before leaving the continent recently. Like we've had another one from Wes in the past that was smashed beyond belief. Recently, semi-recently, I bought a Botcon Ironhide, the tow line repaint, I got it off eBay, and uh, it was from a guy in France, and it just never showed up. Like I checked the tracking, and it was like, oh, it's at the border, and it just stayed there for like three or four weeks. So I tried getting in touch with them, they were just like, oh, je sais pas, oh, je suis désolé, oh, hello. But God, poor old Maz from uh, the TF Source blog, you know him, good old Maz, I love that guy, but he bought a um, complete mint in box G1 Shockwave, but that was in France as well. And um, it did show up, but when he got it, it was just obliterated. Just smashed to the heavens. It looked like a tank had run over it. It was ridiculous. It was like some Looney Tune shit. Just poof, Just a big black scorch mark on the ground with his head in the middle. Like, bling, bling, bling. Poor old Maz. I was gutted for him. Anyway, let's see if we can salvage. Yeah, everything looks fine, actually. <laughs> Yay. Don't know what that means. Dear Thewey the 14th de Luxembourg von Lexus. Is that like a partridge joke? I don't know. Enclosed you will find my regular balls, good old balls, vitamins and a phallic reference for comedic effect, good. Love a good knob gag. How's kickback doing? Oh yeah, Wes sent us a kickback and it was broken. Yeah, that was the thing. That was the bad thing. But yeah, I gave it to a mate, I think they fixed it. Praise be Thewey 14th, long may he reign. Duh to his enemies. I love the, ah, sweet little pup, and then duh. Okay, so we have an arcade machine, which appears to be the perfect size for some toy interaction. Might uh, get my Geiger Beetle on, see if I can do some hilarious slice of life photos. So is this a functioning, it just looks like a prop, but if this actually has games in it, oh my God, it looks like it does. 200 retro games. I don't recognize any of those. Tennis. Racing, road work. Oh, these are all Euro games. <laughs> okay. All right. Do some weird retro Euro games I've never played. Cool. Cheers, Wes. That's really exciting. <laughs> Wonder how many batteries it takes. And we got some snacks. Zwan, Frank. That's Billy Corgan's wiener. And we have energy pills and some of those balls. Hey, good stuff, Wes. <laughs> so it did get biffed, but. There was no damage done, apparently. How serendipitous. Okay, baby, little one here from Cameron in uh, Cincinnati. Yes, this is a name I recognize from uh, the patron role. Thank you, mate. Phew, I've been enjoying your video for years now, but never really had anything to send but best wishes until now. That's all right. You don't have to, it's not obligatory. <laughs> I realize you may already have some of this Skywarp stuff, but being the sneaky prankster I am, I thought this would be a great way to publicize an extra life fundraiser some friends and I are doing on our channel. 100% of the money we raise will go to helping Cincinnati Children's Hospital, as well as to provide medical care for children and families that struggle with the cost. Oh, 
What a legend! So here's the link, it's extralife.org slash team slash 47685 and that is Cameron from Arbitrary Hero and there's another one there, I don't know what that is extralife.org slash participant slash 374449 Hope I'm not too late with this, this has been sitting in the back for a while I hope it's still active Oh baby, we have Siege Skywarp! Ooh. Oh god, he's so cool this one <laughs> I do love this figure so much, but that is because I've already got one. So what I might do, in the spirit of giving, what do you say, let's do a cheeky charity fundraiser, right? I'll pop this guy on eBay, and whatever we make for him, I'll contribute to Extra Life. I think that's pretty cool, right? Oh, look at his sexy conehead curves. Oh, I transformed him real quick. Did you see how, how fast that was? Oh, yes, mate. But yes, this is quite a lovely figure. Slightly odd on the old sort of grey charcoal-y colour schemes. But this is a fairly remarkable figure. I've got, like, uh, a big review in the works. It's going to happen because I've got all friggin' seven of them. It'd be a crime not to. But I'll put a link for the Extra Life and for the eBay thing down here so we can all try and make a few quid for the kids, yeah? And it looks like we've also got some card game gear. Oh, look at this! We've got three different Skywarp cards! G1 style, we've got Combiner Wars style, and him but closer. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Cameron! That's what we like! The spirit of giving! Look at us! Hey! Look at us! Here we go, this is a nice enormous one to finish off with! Uh, is this gonna work with the camera? I don't know. Hey, Phew! Why don't we take that second camera and cut away from ourselves? Let me know, is this working, the whole two camera thing? I feel like it's making the whole thing slightly less visually monotone. Are we here for me or for the toys? Dear Back to the Future, nice. We'll keep this brief to save you editing time. You're an awesome dude who, if ever heads down to Bristol, will be bought many a pint by me. One day I'll get my rear to TF Nation with my cosplay of Tarn. Please do do that. At Robbie Was Up on TikTok. Ooh, a new platform. I haven't tried TikTok yet. I feel like I'm up too old for it at this point. Yeah, nice one, Robbo. Let's see what we're doing. Oh my god. So we have Beast Machines, Scavenger, I think, or Scrap Metal. I can never remember what this figure is. It's a very odd bugger. Like, what is that? This is some Jason the Wheel Warriors nonsense. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you. God, I'm cool. Whenever day you reach in towards the light. Just do a whole video of this. <laughs> And you know! Anyway, alright. Uh, we have what looks like R.I.D. Scorponuck. <laughs> He's got a sword on his tail, holy flip. Whoa, look at you, Mr. Longlegs. Uh, I don't see any other way that- oh, uh, right, right. He's got the old backward knee cloven hoof thing. Devil man, devil man. There he goes, slot that in there, and we are laughing. Friggin' scimitar on the go. That is a baddie! I feel like it'd be really easy to take this figure and do like a, a custom Scorpia out of it from She-Ra. I feel like that'd be fun. Brave, loyal, great hugs. Oh, R.I.D. You had some solid ideas. There was another one, was it? It had like a cool name like, um... No, Death Nova or something, I can't remember. I remember thinking it was really cool, but I can't remember what it was. So it couldn't have been that cool. This appears to be... Legends Rodimus! God, that's so basic. I love it. Beast Machines Buzzsaw, yeah! What a freak this thing is. Insect wings for legs. What is this hand? Like a lava stinger on a springer? And the head's kind of like, like an insectoid Bucky O'Hare. Sort of rabbit ears and also 15 eyes. And that, what is, that's not a hand, come on. <laughs> oh, what a mess, I friggin' love it. Beast Machines, what are you, still? What was the design philosophy? Like, half Transformers, half animals, but just super unappealing. Make it uglier, I think was the crack. Worse, please. Couple of Movieverse lads, we have um, the Last Night Skids. No, Squeaks, irritating. Bloody idiot character. I just love it at the end when Isabella just orders him to his death. You're the only one! You have to do it! You've got to do it, Squeaks! You're small and you're ugly! No one's gonna see you coming! Blow it up! What was that film? Horrible movie, lame character, actually not a bad toy though. Oh look, it's a little moped that fully transforms into a bot. It's got his little Astro Train trailer. 45 quid, please. Dirt Boss, yeah! Low-key favourite from Movie 2? I'm sure I mention this every video, but the scouts in Revenge of the Fallen were friggin' fantastic. This, however, appears to be... Yeah, it's a knockoff. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I take it all back. Oh god, he's got no features. He's just got a big head made of poo. A horrible version of a really good figure. And we have a Dark of the Moon. This was another freak show figure. 
Dark of the Moon Air Raid. This was just the most random thing. These things are enormous. It's called an AWACS, like a mega aircraft with a huge radar dish on the back. And it's a deluxe figure. Okay. I get the feeling that they wanted to do like a huge aeroplane character so bad because Stratosphere happened. They did that Jetstorm repaint and then a green deluxe class AWACS. It's like stop trying to make the aerial bots happen. It's not going to happen. This was the best we got. Tiny deluxe class massive aeroplane. All right then. Let's see if we can remember how this works. It's been a hot second since I've done this one. So bear with me. But this I think opens out. I can't remember how any of this works. It's like really backwards. It's got this peculiar mechanism where there's the tail face and you swing that up and his head pops up that's one of his hands just the entire tail fit what a strange figure this is I kind of you know I, I do appreciate how weird it is but it's not good is it by which I obviously mean Thanks, Robbie. All right, looks like we've got some books and some other stuff. Ooh, here we go. The Transformers, The Complete Works Part 2. God, terrifying metallic grid mouth. So what is, is this like a trade paperback? Like old style one? This material originally appeared in issues five to eight of Marvel's The Transformers. So it is literally just some collected issues. It's the freaky early Marvel artwork. Can I show you? Whoops. Identically colored um, Skywarp and Thundercracker. Friggin' purple sound. Wave. And like, is that small foot? This is classic stuff though. This is like some of the most important early works. Oh, so unrefined. Oh God, I forgot Spider-Man's in this. <laughs> Spider-Man, Nick Fury. I forget that this is part of Marvel. Is this like a Looney Tunes truck Acme? Could anyone just do Acme? Oh, this is classic stuff, man. This is like teeth cutting early Transformers media, but also not great. <laughs> Thank you, that's wonderful. Anyway, I've got some more gear. Carrier bag. The heck is that? Is this an ocarina? <laughs> Weird. Oh, baby, okay. Uh, Generations double dealer with some kind of massive egg. We out of juice? We're out of juice. Phone's out of juice. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like this has got to be some kind of third party add on. It's got the big egg rocket and also another thing. Pretty sweet though. I did like this version of Double Dealer with the old um, shark mouth on there. It's kind of a nice attempt to almost do like a modern Double Dealer in a sort of real world way. I don't know. Because like the original one was like this big turkey monster. So I guess to kind of keep it generations y like that, that's, that's not a bad way to do it, right? Ugh, camera's out of juice. Give me a minute. <laughs> And we are back. Still plenty of gear going on. <laughs> Trans metal rat trap, if you don't mind. Yes, indeed. Oh my God, it actually says rat trap on top. This is the, um, is this the repaint? I feel like there was like a brown one and also a differently brown one. And this is the brown one. He, to be sure, is no joke, even though he's a kind of a joke. <laughs> don't you love him? Friggin' trans metals, man. What were they? I know what they were. They were good. Something here wrapped in a napkin. Oh, dude, no way. I know what this is. This, I think, is Action Master Rad. And he's got some kind of creature friend. What is he, like a boar? Got a little mohawk on the go. Pretty sure this is Rad, right? It's pretty tubular, at least. Nice, Robbie. Another tiny little diaper baby. What is that? Diaper baby. It's G1 Tailgate! Man, look at him! This is like an original one. He's missing a sticker, I think, but that is no keychain version. That is no recent reissue. This is an OG G1 Tail to the Gate. Such lovely wheels. These were great, weren't they? The little um, Penny Racer minibots. Just quality little toy box friends. This lad and Swerve and Cosmos and friggin' Sea Spray. Just, there's nothing like it. The mini bots are the actual real deal. The realest of deals. Any whoops. Oh, mate. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Friggin' Banzai Tron. Speaking of action masters, this is the. Um, <gasps> oh, he's got the special sword. Look at that. God, this was such a good figure, man. The bludgeon. The bludge. Like all the discussions about whether or not this was supposed to be a classic. It's, it's kind of irrelevant. It just does not matter. Because the point is, he's really good. And don't you love that he exists? Yeah, look at that. Is that like a different head? Did they do a special kit with a new head for Banzai Tron? I say they. It's like, who was it? Who did it? Anyone? And then we uh, 
split this open. Whoa, and we got the old uh, Wakazashi, like a Tanto, I don't know. The small one, baby sword, do 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 do. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Augmented Samurai Tank Monster Banzai Tron. What a day. That does look like a baddie out of like Neo, doesn't it? I started playing Neo. I got it free on the old PlayStation Plus. And it's fun and everything, but the first boss is such a joke. It looks like the one guy out of the He-Man movie and you fight him inside a boat and it's just impossible. <laughs> anyway, I feel like this guy would give you a hard time in some kind of boss battle. From standard NAFO action figure to disgusting third party augmented cult favorite. Uh, uh, the Action Master career path. Uh, okay. <laughs> one more thing in here. Just the one. No big deal. The friggin' Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Arc. Oh, hello. We got a mate in there. Who's this? Cheeky little Legends class whomever. Perceptor, possibly. No idea. So what does this do? It's very big. There seems to be plenty going. Whoa, okay. <laughs> plenty going on. Oh, Mighty Max! Look at that! Got all like friggin' action stations. This is like the Millennium Falcon, isn't it? Bam! <laughs> So we got like a repair bay, friggin' guns all over the shop, hologram chessboard, I don't know. But no, the whole um, hexagon motif, that's very sort of Dark of the Moon opening scene, isn't it? That was the shit, yeah, this is the shit that that was, I think, right? Rob B, not bad! Unexpected joys! That is a bit good though, in, it, in its own way. This isn't something I ever would have, like, gone out of my way to get. <sighs> oh no, was movie Cyberverse actually quite good and I just missed it? Where am I gonna put this though? <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I gonna do with it? That's the only issue, because it is good, but it's very big. What a surface area. All right, not a bad little selection today. Then cheers, Robbie, that's amazing. So please do check it out. I'll put the link here-ish if I can find it. I don't know how TikTok works. Do you have a URL? I don't know, it's all phones, isn't it? Okay, boomer. So yeah, Banzaitron Double Dealer Squeaks, friggin' Tailgate, Rat Trap, Rad Trap, Air Raid, and just some nonsense, and an Ocarina. All right then. <laughs> How do you even begin to play this? Look where the holes are. How does that even... All right, so that'll do for now. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you back here, if you don't mind, with some more Transformer-related content. I feel like it's going to be a good couple of months. Just, uh... Just stay tuned, yeah? And I'll, uh... I'll treat you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Random bitch and Okay, that was a mess, wasn't it? My God. <laughs> All right, big love this time to Sam Kershaw. Thank you for joining the channel, and I'll see you soon on the tube. Be sure to subscribe for more Thews Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.